Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hariharnath. In this video, let's look into how to get started with Raspberry Pi Pico W. We'll first understand what is Raspberry Pi Pico W and its features and then we'll see steps on how to use Arduino IDE for programming the Pico W. Later, we'll do a LED blink program with Pi Pico W board. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. Let's get started. Raspberry Pi Pico W was introduced in 2022 and it is another version of Pi Pico with Wi-Fi module in addition. And it has by heart RP2040 microcontroller which was a debut microcontroller from Raspberry Pi. And the Wi-Fi module that we talked about is Infineon CYW43439. It also is costing very much less in our market that is 600 rupees only. And if we talk about PicoW specifications, the microcontroller is having dual core ARM Cortex M0 at 133 megahertz. The memory is 264 KB on chip SRAM and 2 MB flash and the interfacing we have 26 GPIO pins and which includes three analog inputs and these are the different peripherals that we can look and the connectivity which is addition to the Pico is this wireless module which is having Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth support. The input power is standard 1.8 volts to 5.5 volts and these are the other specifications. Let's talk about the Pico W pinout. So here you can see various GPIO pins and what are the purposes of them and you can clearly understand the color coding and the legend mentioned here. So all the red we can see in power and the top legend here we can see this is for RP2040 which is the microcontroller and another that is wireless module. The wireless module one GPIO pin that we are going to use only for the LED and how can we program and what are the different IDEs that we can use. So one programming language that it supports is C, C++ where in this video we are going to use Arduino IDE and it also supports MicroPython and that is using Tony IDE. So now let's look into first installing Arduino IDE. So you need to click on this first link and here we have multiple options of Arduino IDE like previous version this is the legacy one and uh, the Arduino IDE 2.3.2. So the first preference would be 2.3.2 which is the latest one and Windows 10 or newer version 64 bit you can click on this others you can click on other and you can if you want to donate something you can donate or you can just click on just download and then again just download it will download. So here I have already downloaded so I'll just click on it and the wizard of setup is opened I can click on agree and only for me and then it is going to install So it just take one minute to do the complete installations. Now it, the installation is done. So once the installation is done, you can just click on keep this checkbox and click on finish. So now we can see the Arduino IDE is opened and it is trying to download some libraries so we don't have to disturb that so it is going in the background and now once we have done this so it is asking some permissions so we have to keep in doing the install so initial setup it is trying to do so it is asking me all the permissions like whether I need to install it or not so I clicked on yes for all of them so once that is done Next thing is we need to go to preference. 
So, click on file and here you need to click on preferences. So, in the preferences you need to set the additional board because by default Arduino is not supporting for PicoW. So, what you need to do is for that there is one GitHub repository and this GitHub repository is supporting various boards which are by default not supported by Arduino IDE. For example, you can see Pico, Pico W, Pico 2, etc. And if you scroll down, you have a one JSON URL, you need to copy that and go back to your Arduino IDE and paste it here. So, if you have already something in here, you can click on this and paste in the next line. So, once you have done that, click on OK and click on OK. So, it will try to download the packages of it. So, once it has installed the packages of this, we can go to tools, board and board manager we have. So, after getting to the board manager, you need to search for pipe pico. Next, again the same person who has maintained that GitHub, you can see that is mentioned here. So, you can click on install. So, it is again going to install the board manager libraries. So, it has taken a couple of minutes to install all its packages. Once it is done, you can again go back to the tools and inside board, you would be able to see additional board that is Raspberry Pi Pico. And here you will be having all the boards that are being supported. So, our board is Raspberry Pi Pico W. So, you can click on that so that here Raspberry Pi Pico W will be selected. Next, you need to connect your Pico W to this PC. So, using the micro USB, you are going to connect. So, once I have connected, I can see the file manager was opened and then it got disappeared. So, what we can do is we can go to the COM ports. So, go to the tools port and we need to find out of the port, right? So, we can go back to the device manager and here you can see other devices RP boot. So now if you go back to the port, it is having UF2 board. So that is one port. So you can click on that. So now to get the example code of Blink, you can go to file, example and in the basics you have Blink. So it will open another window and here we can see pin mode LED built in and it is going to Blink. So let's see, I can click on upload. So now it is trying to process and upload the program. Now I can see that the onboard LED is blinking in my Raspberry Pi Pico. I can give you a bonus point here. So the bonus point I want to provide you is if you go to examples other than basic examples you can also find the microcontroller that is RP2040 of this board Pi Pico you can find various programs. So one of that that we can look here is temperature. So if I click on temperature it will open a new window of Arduino IDE and here you can see the code it is trying to get the core temperature and print on the serial printer. So in the serial monitor here once we have the run this code we can see what is the temperature. So by default it has temperature sensor which we are going to read now. So what I can do is I can click on upload. So before uploading I need to check whether it is connected properly or not. So, board is selected, but the port is not selected. For that, I need to go to tools, go to port and inside that I can select the COM3 port. If you, if you have multiple ports, you can simply go to device manager and find out your port. So, if you go to the ports, under ports you have this USB serial device COM3. 
so which means that com3 is active right now so you can select that so that is already selected here and you can click on upload whenever a new code is uploaded it will open the file explorer and dump that you have to file and then immediately that file explorer will be closed which means that our code is successfully programmed and now because we are using the serial.printf we have to open the serial monitor so go to serial monitor and you will find out the temperature so every second we are able to see what is the temperature of this board that's all for today's video i hope this video was helpful if yes please type helpful in the comment section below I have many more videos lined up for you on Raspberry Pi Pico W. So stay tuned and get all the updates by subscribing to the channel. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.